Hey yo, niaje niaje, what's good, what's poppin? Tell us where you're watching from. Of course, this is your heart as your body show, GBS Art Club. And as usual, uh, we are featuring incredible arts in the building. And to tonight, anyways, we'll stuck at you. So without forgetting, I'm having the one and only co-host. Hey! Hello, welcome on board guys. I am your girl Andres Nemo and I am so excited because today we have such great talent. So without wasting much time, let's get to the videos. Come check your video. That's uh, then I think you know who are in the building tonight. So without forgetting, uh, without wasting time. So yeah, in house today we have aftermath modeling agency. And without wasting much time, let us get to know who they are. Yo, bro, what's up? All right, how you doing, man? Doing All good. All right, this is Mr. R Y D A H, or you can call me hashtag Bright the Draw Maker. I'm the CEO, the trainer, the choreographer. Yeah, and we're in the building, man. Well, feel welcome, yeah? Mm, my name is Pareli Malada, and I call me Yasmin. I'm the uh, next top of model. Uh -huh. And a writer, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Next. Hi, my name is Jane Garuya, and I'm the next top model. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be here. Mm. It was an honor. Oh, well, getting to you. Uh, hello guys, I'm uh, Rahma Godana, the next top model, a nutritionist by profession. So it's really nice to be I'm enjoying the the environment. It's oh, kind of con <laughs> the hospitality <laughs> with someone else is sitting <laughs> next to me. <laughs> yeah, it's really all nice. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, back to you. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Aftermath Modeling Agency. What does it entail? What is it about? Okay, the Aftermath Modeling Agency, first of all, it's a family, not more than agency, because uh, we get to not only nurture, but understand the journey that you want. Because before you, before you, um, before you nurture anybody, you mm -hmm. need to know where they're going so that you can be able to direct them on where exactly they should go. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's more than a family, because we get to know you and we get to work with you to your next level or to the place you you are thinking to be. I want to know where are you guys from, like let's start from you. Uh, for me, uh -huh. I'm, uh, I'm almost from basically <laughs> the almost, almost Ethiopia, <laughs> almost Ethiopia because uh -huh. I'm from a place called Moyale. That's border. I can walk like 10 minutes to Ethiopia. Uh -huh. I just walk. I don't even need anything else. Yep. And no one will ask me where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'm a citizen yep. of both the country. Yep. So, like Ethiopia and the Kenya, and I'm, I'm just everywhere. Oh, yeah. We got you. Next. <coughs> oh, and as for me, I'm Kenyan by birth. Uh, going into details, I'm a Kikuyu. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> don't talk about <laughs> <laughs> red cabbage, stuff like that. Hey. Don't talk about <laughs> Yeah, and I'm proud to be one. Mm. Yeah. Feel much welcome here. Yeah? Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, I am Topian. I'm from Topian. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm staying Kenya for years. Mm. Yeah. How are you finding your stay in Kenya? Uh, I'm really in love with Kenya because, um, yeah, for me is in Kenya. Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say just to this. Yeah, okay. I love Kenya. Mm. Also, I love my country, but yeah, mm. I, I stay working my working there. So I think. <laughs> Mm. Do you speak Swahili? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Swahili? No. How <laughs> 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 you that you've been here? Uh, a little. Just to do go to do go to. 
I understand, but I don't know. Just you understand? Yes, I understand. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. So back to you. Um, okay. So yeah, what did, what did it take to start up an agency? What does it take? Nini, nini. Uh-huh. What does it take to yeah. open up an agency? Yeah. Okay, first of all, it takes patience. Mm -hmm. uh, and you should not take it more like a business because you should understand that anytime you're dealing with people, it's like you're in public service. You get, you need to be in service for other people, so they should come first. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's where most of the time, most people go wrong, because you should think of serving others, then they will serve you later. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for me, I think there are so many agents, agency here in Kenya, and like, what's the uniqueness of your agency maybe? All right, um, I would say the uniqueness and why we are among the top 10 modeling agencies in Kenya, and not only in Kenya, but in East Africa, uh, is because we get to, we don't look on the people who are already up. Like we work from the people from row, as in somebody can see, this is somebody from row to a superstar. You understand? Mm -hmm. And when you give young, uh, young and raw talent, that is when at least you can say there is growth, there is something different from, you understand, it's not just picking anybody, but picking somebody who has passion and from raw and making them from nothing to something. All right. Yeah. So yep. yeah, okay, let's get to this. What happens, what literally happens in the aftermath modeling agency? Where does the training take place? All right, that's a good question. All right, our trainings mostly are on weekends, so they don't interfere with anybody's program. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they are at Diamond Plaza 2, that is Parklands, mm -hmm. uh, as you can see from the screen. And um, yeah, it's as in the time is, uh, the, the time it, it varies for anybody who is in schools. If you work in the bank, you can still be a model because it's from four to six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so who is doing the training? Actually, I'm doing the training, <laughs> and that's why I said, yeah, I'm the trainer. That's why I said. How do you know the work? Like the works for the girls. All right. Uh, basically, I used to be a model. Oh. Uh, and uh, it took, okay, back then, some years back. That's so many years back. Um, there was no opportunity. There was nobody giving, and unless now maybe you go to like a contest. That's when you get to be trained as a model. Mm -hmm. So I decided. I say the aftermath. Uh, the aftermath is like the result. Oh, so yeah. You know the the, af yeah. the outcome. So I figured there was a big gap in the industry. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know somebody or you didn't come from a certain community, mm -hmm. you not get the opportunity. So I said, mm -hmm. let me train. Um, let me let me also advance to train both male and models in terms of um, the catwalk and the stylish work, mm -hmm. and uh, be able to give each every any anybody anybody the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Or really consider any kuchus after math. Um, majorly, I'll speak on the fact that it's the one that has brought up the top models already, so you already know where you'll head to you see like we were talking about wavinya i hear she was part of the agency but i didn't get to meet her you get to realize that they brought her from just a common one and she like me <laughs> and well, made her well. <laughs> and made her something well. big so that drives you to join the agency because you know this direction on where it's, it's taking you to all right yeah <coughs> yep so what was your inspiration towards modeling my inspiration towards modeling, mm. oh yeah, literally for me, I've always loved modeling. That's one thing that has been there for me. Yeah. As much as most people told me, uh, you know, modeling doesn't take you anywhere. It will just drag you back. You'll be just distracted and all that. But let me tell you <coughs> one thing, that's a big fat lie. Whoever is saying modeling drags you back, mm. it's really, no, no. Because you can still do your work and still follow your passion. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between professionals and passion. Yeah. So learn that, learn how to control your mind, learn how to balance yourself, then everything is good to go. Don't listen to what others say or told you. Listen to your heart. Mm. Most of the time, follow the mind <laughs> though. <to> your, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, follow the mind though, because uh -huh. they both go together. You uh -huh. can't just stick to one. All right. Yeah. 
Yep, so like comparing be, between Ethiopia and Kenya, do you really, where do you feel like modeling is more accepted? I think for me, uh, Kenyan better mm -hmm. activity uh -huh. and the training. All right. How does uh, the Ethiopians do Ethiopian, it? Ethiopian, uh, most of all, just actress good, but from modeling, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, or what are some of the challenges that you think are in the modeling industry? It's hard for you to go mm -hmm. through challenges. For me, I've had a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Live alone, the outsiders. I have even had, had challenge with my own family. Mm -hmm. Initially, I'm a Muslim. Mm -hmm. You know, as a Muslim lady, there's a way you need to be, there's a way you need to hold yourself yeah. with respect. Mm -hmm. But modeling does not make you lose your respect and dignity. It's all matters, it's how you keep yourself and what you believe. Mm -hmm. Me, I believe I'm a Muslim and I know I'm a Muslim. Mm -hmm. But that does not have to hinder you on achieving your passion or your goals. Mm -hmm. That's how I see myself. So you just go for it? I go for it. <laughs> I right. even said, there's a moment that I sat down and everyone was there. You see, they catch a mind, the family. Like, they are gathered there. They what if they go. gang up against They you know? just gang up. Of I'm which like, okay. they do? They, they do. do. Yeah. So they ask me, are you serious? This is what you want to do? Yeah. And we just let you be. Yeah, let me be. They let you be. So wow. they were like, choose your part. You either do the modeling uh -huh. or let us go. So I'm like in a situation where I have to choose between my own family and my career of what I love doing. Because I know the moment I step on a runway, it's my dream. No way. <laughs> so I told them, if it's my dream that I'm losing because of uh -huh. you guys, mm -hmm. I'd rather follow my dreams, right. achieve what I want. And at the end of the day, a time will come when you will appreciate me and look for yeah. me. Very simple. Love her attitude. And I don't yeah. even yeah. Attitude. Yeah. even now we don't talk. Because right. I remember, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Katrina Gray, the former Miss Universe. Mm -hmm. She says it's not the uh, lack of financial support that kills our children's yeah. dream, but rather it's lack of that moral support. support. Yeah. You so you get when you get that kind of negative uh, approach or negative from your family. It's up to you, you choose. Do you want to continue or do or you want the answer. <laughs> yes. to yes. yeah. Okay, like I want to know the feeling when you say like, uh, like let's say some other Muslims, mm -hmm. like whatever the bui bui and something, they've covered their, you, you know what I'm talking yes. about. Yes. And you coming to modeling, it entails more of like you have to like <laughs> you get <laughs> you know, it's a, okay wow. <laughs> let's put it this way we are not indifferent let me tell you one yeah. thing you know like the way i'm dressed right now mm -hmm. yep. it's yeah the tight might the trouser might be a bit tight mm -hmm. but it will uh, a bit like a baggy or something i just cover my head and go to to pray there's nothing wrong with it All right. and as long as i'm in the trouser and i'm covered up yeah. but the fact is that our people they are not I don't know how to put them. I don't, can That's I say they are not matured <laughs> or I don't know? Because as young as I am, I'm matured and I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, there's no insult in that. It's no insult. For me, I'm that person. I'm, I have the courage to say I want this. Mm -hmm. And when I want something, I go for it. Mm -hmm. I let nothing. Nothing, even if you are the person that I treasure in my life. The moment you start coming me, between me and my dreams, He'll be the one who will be the one <laughs> Not my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Not my dreams. Maybe let's She's say I'm one half cast of Ethiopian and Kenya. Uh -huh. Maybe. I don't know. My mom, she's uh, raised in Kenya. She's an Arab. Raised in Kenya. My dad is Ethiopian. The real Ethiopian. Hmm. Those guys. And the, it's really, it's really, it's really a Muslim person. And whenever he comes and like, cover your head. I don't want you walking like this in this house. Uh. This is my house. Do you know that? Uh. Okay. That I'll just try to and do whatever you're doing to me right all now. All right, I got you. So you're that girl. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go wherever you're watching from. This is your buddies, your heart, uh, show GBS Art Club. So tonight uh, in the building, we have in the queens in the building, Nakama Kawat, Kona King, and our Kilisha, all the way from Aftermath uh, Agency. Sindo? Kabisa. So uh, getting back to you, bro, yeah. like what are the qualifications Unaangalia before you accept uh, somebody as a model. All right. Uh, the most, the greatest factor, first of all, is the passion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because the passion is what can drive you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Like, let me say, like for her, I remember she, uh, the first time I met her, 
she waited for me for six hours six Patience. good hours yeah. Yeah. That yeah. 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 you know i was <laughs> like wow oh, you're doing another level so yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, you know uh, and this is the thing mm. like if if it, when it comes to passion and that's why you find like uh, it's like abandoned and it's something that is speaking art is something that is starting to get appreciated because art is something that don't happen overnight you don't start earning overnight mm. so if you don't have patience uh you give up or you you find yourself compromising to the person you are to get what you want but if you are patient to understand that it is a journey and i will get it that is the first factor first of all i look at all right yeah yeah, yeah so uh the big question is mm -hmm. does modeling pay yes modeling pays all right yeah modeling pays especially when it comes to abroad mm. uh modeling pays in in every activity that you're doing or say you have a pageant or a runway show that's good, taking place uh -huh. you all only only the winners get to be paid or what happens all right now you're asking on pageants, on pageants. most <laughs> mostly on pageants what happens mm -hmm. uh is um, of course the winner is the one who pockets something to go home so but at the end of the day mm -hmm. you everybody's a winner mm -hmm. because the experience that you get uh, is more it, it's it's more important even than that money mm -hmm. you understand yeah. because i believe the moment you go and it's just like going to school neza kwa mini dandas you understand kenya wali wanasema but as moment nimetoka kwa hiyo shule there is something i'm not the same person i was when i got in you so understand mm -hmm. so that's why you find even most of the models who make it in the industry mm -hmm. are those people that fail mm -hmm. we've had in the past models who have become women representative of their counties and everything so you understand so modeling I, i normally tell people it's a platform to the next level you get because that confidence where do you use it so you understand my yeah, point true. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and to add on that mm -hmm. we're not even talking about the monetary value in, in form of payment we only we're also talking about the exposure like someone will to pick you from whatever maybe you didn't win but maybe <coughs> you from there and make you something better you see so you also you also get exposure maybe you become a brand ambassador for a certain product yeah so we are not just talking about the monetary mm -hmm. value of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how do you balance okay are you doing modeling like full time or part time almost let's say full time huh. yeah because uh, full time yeah up down just i'm um, traveling a huh. lot yeah all right mm -hmm. I, yep. so getting back to you like a uh, modeling mm -hmm. kuna mse like we have in some other girls out here like they want to join like a model but you una za advice aje you are you and you are for me the advice that i would give mm -hmm. or i think to give mm -hmm. is that don't let how people criticize us model drag mm -hmm. you back mm -hmm you know what you want i basically tell that anyone that comes my way you know what you want mm. go for it mm. it's that simple mm -hmm. if you maybe it's when it comes to your family maybe your mom or your dad try talking to them but when you know you are at the right age of making your own decision sometimes your parents can make a decision for you which you will regret later on so it's either up to you for you to make a decision for yourself learn through your regrets instead of learning regrets through someone else all right that's what i, I, I have to you. say mm. yeah. so do you think modeling is expensive when it comes to dressing or and such stuff like <laughs> first things first in modeling you have to invest mm -hmm. not just time but also financially because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you get in the in like pageantry where you're contested for a title mm -hmm. you have to get the wears i think there are like four or five categories you have mm -hmm. to finance that one you have to finance the designer the makeup artist so it's up to yes, you if you really stylist. have the passion mm. you'll you'll just invest on it yeah so it, it's it's not cheap what are your goals for aftermath what are your aspirations what do you want unataka nini out of this aftermath all right um what i want out of it it's uh 
making it to the next level whereby you see like the way we appreciate athletics mm -hmm. like nationally um i would like that kind of appreciation because i remember when you were looking for votes for both miss universe and mm -hmm. miss kenya mm -hmm. you find it's like nikona yeah, begwatwa vote true. So you understand true. You of which <laughs> yeah of which you um it's not supposed to be like that mm -hmm. imagine somebody is out there they're 18 years old <laughs> and they are representing your country and uh, just to take even it's maybe two shillings just to vote you understand so i wanted to take it to the next level whereby mm -hmm. we can appreciate it as a country and see um and see it like a professional you get yeah because it is a professional it is, it a, is professional. a professional those models who are out there and those models who make it just like i said named one of per month so you get so it's something that has money and not only in high fashion also in commercials also when it come to acting also when you come to video vixen and everything all those are models so ni job yani nafunguka saizi and the industry is appreciating when you find to uh, ushering corporate events who do you find ushering the uh, the, the, the the people it's the models mm. so you understand so it's something that is paying and where i would want to take it is when we can appreciate it when we can take it like the way let's say south africa have embraced it mm -hmm. if if i if, if we get to that level and we get like uh let's say like a thousand models who are in international level mm -hmm. you see that's when you're able to show people when you show people the result that's when they are like oh it's it's something that is that's working yeah. yeah yeah but you actually have to work that much to impress the audience yeah you just yeah. have to <laughs> mm -hmm. all right all right yeah. all right was the worst thing and you make oh sorry was the worst even me it's just this time was the worst experience uh, you've met uh, during your model my experience just um yeah about fashion uh -huh. about fashion and yep. um yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. well okay. about fashion and um yeah. you know i don't know how to explain you but <laughs> you can explain okay okay let's do this kill i'm trying to experience okay yeah. but for you <laughs> like uh what do you think in afakufanywa in order so the modeling can be accepted fully in kenya it's uh, it's already been accepted the fact is that the people or our community some of us mm. don't see it as important mm. some explain it as a way of us doing our own shitty things mm -hmm. it's not a shitty thing it's something that makes you someone whole new mm. you can change someone's life the moment you hit the light there the spot you can take someone who is down there put that person at your level mm -hmm. you can sponsor a person for me what i would like to say is if you see maybe your child small child in the house has a talent for something boost that because i'd like they say charity begins at home yes and i really feel bad because some of the leaders or people who are there and who can financially and do anything they don't look into it yep so i just want them to go where about it modeling is just the same as someone who is going out there to put the country first like right like i that. said but you know african parents do have this mentality that uh education comes in first yes education so how, how can you convince your parents that uh i'll put this aside and i'll do modeling that you is know, so hard. You know, it's all up to you to master it. It's all up to you. But to master it. You know, I am not so going to pay your school fees. What will you do about for it? For me, it happened to me. It happened to it you. It happened to oh, me. Right, tell us about it. It oh. happened to me. And I still, I'm still here. I did my education. And I'm still modeling. It's how go-getter you are. Wow. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Viewer, wherever you're watching from, this is your heart as your birthday show, GBS Art Club. And tonight in the building, we have an aftermath agency, uh, the queens and the king. 
are representing tonight. So feel free to be part of our conversation. Like, reach us via SMS line to double one double four, and then we'll be getting back to you. And you can hit us up in our social media platforms as well, GBS TV Kenya. So uh, before to the show, bro, like, uh, can you tell us some of uh, the models you've worked with so far? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. I'll, I will start from the genesis. Mm -hmm. um, there is Jackie Mwendo. She's one of a high fashion professional model mm -hmm. uh, who works uh, in the country and outside the country. I uh, will go to the other. Uh, I'll just jump, jump. Yep. Uh, I'll go to Vin Klins, who is a, a, a renowned fashion designer and who also uh, former Miss World Kakamega yep. and also my model, Bruce Matheka. Uh, then I'll jump to the next generation. I'll go to the late Massimo Keira. Then I will go to Chanel. She's uh, if uh, if, you, if you if you're a fan of uh, New York uh, New York Fashion Week, uh, France Fashion Week, mm -hmm. you never miss her there. Mm -hmm. And most of the time she's given because she has a very nice walk. You see her as a, a, a as in a, a showstopper. Yep. Um, then I will go to Miss, the current now, Miss World, uh, Miss Universe, the previous Miss Intercontinental, uh, Mr. Nigeria International. Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 even uh, Miss Intercontinental Ghana. Mm -hmm. So most of the time I get models even from Central Africa. Yep. Uh, also, let me not forget Aska. She's uh, the current um, Miss Miss Royalty Globe. Yep. Uh, the All event right. happened in Nigeria, right. and as well as uh, the. There are so many. Hey, there, are so many. there are so many. There are so many. Anyways, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> uh, before win winding up, uh, we have in like an intake or something coming up. So talk a little bit about it. All right. Mm. What I would say, if you're out there and if you want to be the next top model, Aftermath is a place to be and we are ready to work with you. We have incoming project 2020 next top model. So it doesn't matter how old you are. We are taking both kids, teens, because if you look at the current Miss, little tiny Miss World, little Miss Earth, they are also from us. So that means we are looking generally from kids, teens, young adults. So you can just look at our social media, Nairobi Next Top Model, that is Instagram, Facebook, uh, the Aftermath Modeling Agency, and you can get the details. Or you can even send an email of application to uh, Nairobi Next Top Model dot Academy at gmail dot com. Yep. And be the next top model 2020. So are there charges like registration fee or something? No, we don't have a registration fee. Mm. What we do is uh, the training fee. Mm -hmm. We have a training fee. Uh, once you once you make your application, all the details are sent. Uh, from how to like the contract, uh, the procedure, because you know, you, before you sign up in an, any modeling agency, you have to know are you because just paying money yeah. or what, 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 what are you getting out of it? Mm -hmm. So, we have training, the training is compulsory, it's a, you pay for it, mm -hmm. but from there now we go to branding. Branding is helping you to bring that person that you want to be to life. Uh, then we have now the portfolio. So you imagine now for the next five years, you're not worried how will I do my shoots, how will I dress myself for the shoots. Again, when you have an event, uh, let's say like the pageant and everything, we also I'm also a designer, and even most of the, the outfit from um, Miss, Miss, Miss World, I did the design. So, and not only her, but so many people. Mm -hmm. So, I would say we get to help you because most of the time it's the most challenging as a model is when you come to the financial of financing yourself when it comes to a pageant. And that's why we also come in since we have designers on board, we get to work with you. So, at least you know, for the next five yep. years, you know, the only thing I am, my only challenge is to be the best on what I am doing, not how will I invest on A, B, C, D. Yeah. Can you talk to a model outside there who wants to join modeling but he or she doesn't know where to start from as you give us your social media platforms? 
uh, in Instagram, you'll get me under Join Gandria. I'm not in Facebook. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's the only uh -huh. social media I mean, and obviously WhatsApp. Mm. Your last word to somebody who's watching and interested in model. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell every model, or rather everyone who's thinking of pursuing modeling, the moment you've had that idea in you that you want to become a model, that's uh, enough for you to start on it. It doesn't require so much because you get that even if you plump or <coughs> rather what we call plus size, you see you can still join it under the, the plus size platform here. Yeah. So I'll just tell them, just go for it. Don't mind what the setbacks are because they will always be there. You know, what's important is how you'll conquer them here. Yeah. All right. Your last words as you sign out. Uh, you'll find me. Okay, let me give you my social platform. Okay. Social media platform. <laughs> okay. You'll find me let on me them, Instagram. Eh? Uh, the Queen. The Queen. Yeah. Oh. It's but she's changing. Oh. <laughs> Very soon she's changing I'm to changing. the official name. Yes. All right. I'm because changing to official, official name because wow. I'm just in the process. But under still you'll find my official name. Mm -hmm. It's the underscore queen two five four. Mm -hmm. And uh, my last word is, like she said, the moment you have the idea of being a model in your mind, nurture it. It's very simple. Hey, all right, yeah. all right. So before you end up, yeah. Okay. Um, my social media name is uh, Instagram for any Yep. Um, also Facebook, same. Mm. Yeah. Say hi to two people. Um. Okay. Hi, my people, and it's open in Kenyans. Um, yeah, that's all. Just greet them in Ethiopian language. I want to appreciate someone. Uh, I really want to appreciate one lady uh, who has been there with me. Uh, Ruthie Kandin. She's not my real mom, but I call her mom because uh, that's how she takes me. Mm. I love you so much wherever you are watching me from. Mm. I know you are appreciated and I will love you always. All right, all right. Hey, Shaungi Adikesho. Anyway, getting back to the one and only the CEO in the building. So, bro, mm -hmm. you can talk to a model watching out there as mm -hmm. we sign out. All right. Uh, I will not only talk to a model, but I want to talk to a young person out there who want to begin something. Um, every journey, like they say, begin with the first step. And the first step is believing in yourself and knowing what you want. And the moment you know what you want, you will know where you're going. So if you are dreaming it, don't just dream it. Uh, go for it, work for it, and you will get it. There is nothing impossible, there is nothing hard, and everything is achievable. There is nothing difficult anywhere. All you have to do is just change your mindset and know it is possible. Nothing is impossible. All right, so that was it for today. It was great having them here. And stay tuned. This is Art Club 254. Stay tuned on every Wednesday and Thursday as from 8.30 to 9 p.m. JD on the track. Come with me. Unaviopendeza kwenye lorinda Oh baby I knew you're the one for me I knew you'd be the one for me I can tell the way you smile The way you laugh The way you talk The way you walk Baby you're the one for me I swear you're the one for me Mina badili mienendo yangu baba Baby for you <laughs> Jana wangu yeye tujenge boma na we Tuzae watoto na we Tuwale pamoja na we Nizeke pamoja na we Nataka nijenge boma na we Nizae watoto na we Niwale pamoja na we Nizeke pamoja na we Chagua la moyo I climb every mountain, swim every ocean, just to be with you and fix what I've broken. Oh.
Cause I need you to see that you are the reason. She's my soul divine, confession she's mine, perfect me give her one plus nine, she's mine, the queen of my heart, eh, eh, like a bling she a shine, so unique and so fine, she's one of a kind and she mesh up my mind, tangled when she dying, what's a blessing divine, eh, eh. Yeah, ni malaika, ana meta meta ah. Yeah, ni malaika, ana meta meta ah. Wagwani I feel all the time, Mr. R Y D A H hashtag bright at the raw maker. My ladies come and cut walk. Show them the royal make a walk each and every Wednesday and Thursday. Watch Art Club from 8:30 to 9. Keep it locked. Don't you start dialing off in all the time, you know? Hey, Elijah. I'm a young baller. Every.